Well, Power is a brand new company. We IPO'd in uh, July of 2018, and recently we just made a flagship acquisition of what's called the Opamisca Copper Mine in Quebec. Uh, outside of that, we're uh, obviously traded on the Toronto Venture Exchange under the symbol P-O-R-E. We've got 29 million shares outstanding, uh, very tight float, and I think most importantly, when you're evaluating junior companies, you have to look at skin in the game, and our management team and our board has skin in the game. Well, we're absolutely fascinated by what we call the electrical revolution. And what that is, is the, the ultimate demise of fossil fuels, not just in, in Teslas and electrical vehicles, but also the increase in solar and wind power. And uh, a while ago, we, we sat down and we said, how are we going to gain exposure to what we see as something having exponential growth, uh, not just now, but in, in the years to come? And we thought, well, there's really three key metals, and it's, it's nickel, cobalt, and copper. And uh, those that take a look, they'll find that power ore has ex uh, expo exposure to all three of these commodities. But in particular, uh, with, the, with the acquisition of the Opamisca mine, we've made a long-term bet on high-grade copper uh, and cobalt, but also high-grade copper and cobalt and gold in Quebec, uh, which is, quite frankly, the world's best jurisdiction to do business in. Well, growth opportunities are represented in two ways. We have the macro side and we have the asset side. The macro side would correlate to, to really copper. And as I said, we took a, a long-term bet on the price of copper. Now, we don't control the copper price, but we've looked at the supply and the, de the demand fundamentals. And, and on the demand side, of course, copper goes into virtually everything that's built or gets turned off or on. Uh, we think that usage or, or demand for copper is really going to increase with the electrification revolution. So that's the, the demand is going to be juiced up. When you look at the supply, it really comes down to, to, to copper in Chile. And these mines, the Escondida and El, Ten El Teniente, those are 70-year-old mines. And so we see a systematic decrease in the supply. And over the long term, that's going to, uh, we think it's going to result in an increased supply or price in copper. Now, at the project level, it's all about the Opamisca and legitimizing that deposit. It was Falcon Bridge's flagship mine up until the 1990s. It operated as uh, two underground mines. We are taking that interpretation and flipping it. We want to put an open pit on this mineralization, which is very near surface and very high grade. Uh, we're going to be coming out with our 43101 resource estimate in the near term, and I think the market, uh, when that comes out, the market's going to look at the comparables, and they're not going to see uh, too many comparables in terms of assets, but certainly not in terms of market cap relative to our peers. Well, I think the biggest challenge for any business is always about capital allocation. And when we're talking about the junior mining business right now in the context of the market, which we are hopefully exiting, it's really about our cost of capital and our return on investment. And what that means is how much, mu how much does it cost in terms of equity in the company to raise that marginal dollar? And does that marginal dollar uh, return something for our shareholders? So that is something that we focus on on the most. And I think it's all about perspective. Now, from the issuer's perspective, it's cost of capital. But from an investor's perspective, therein lies the opportunity. The higher our cost of capital, that means the better the opportunity is on a risk-adjusted basis, provided you have the ability to be patient and uh, wait the market out, which uh, we think in time investors are going to get paid back on the mining and metal space. Power Ore's near-term objective is to delineate an economic ore body on the, op, on the Opamisca copper mine in Quebec. Uh, in, in a matter of months, uh, investors are going to see our 43101 resource uh, report come out. That's going to define the geology in terms of grade and tonnage. Uh, we're going to have a lot of information on, obviously, the copper and the gold. We think we're going to have some information on the copper as well, which is new to the story. From there, we're going to be moving directly to the PEA and ultimately to the pre-feasibility studies. We think that certainly the PEA is a 2019 story, so that's a near-term objective. The reason we're, we're able to do both the resource calculation and the PEA in such a fast-tracked way is because of the amount of data that exists on this project. Again, this was operated by Falcon Bridge for over 40 years. They were excellent operators, uh, excellent record keepers, and I'll note that since then we have digitized all of that data, which is, which is uh, many, many gigabytes, if not even a terabyte of, of data that we have now in our geological model, again, which is going to form the basis of these geologic engineering and economic reports.
Well, like any investment, it's, it's all about value and whether you're going to put $1 into power ore and $1 into any uh, alternative investment. And we think that given the, the advanced stage nature of our asset, we think given the high grade nature of our drill results relative to our market cap and the value, which is still early days, I don't think the market has really fully absorbed what the Opamiska copper complex is and what it's going to be. It's still early days, so please visit our website, do your due diligence, uh, and we're always available to answer any questions questions investors have. Being listed on the Toronto Venture Exchange is really about two things. It's about access to capital, which is uh, one of our primary concerns, and, and legitimacy. And I think that being listed on the Venture Exchange provides the legitimacy that no other market in the world uh, offers. And, and, and those two go hand in hand. The more legitimate uh, the issuers are, like power ore, the easier the access to capital is.